biological science. And I can give you an example of that if you want. The point is this, you, when you activate your spirit and your, your soul covenant and you move into alignment with your own divine flame and each one of us are born, that's our birthright. When we move into coherence with that, A, we become tapped into the universal mind. So we have access to a, 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 a body of wisdom, universal wisdom that is incredible. And you can barely stay awake in the daytime, at, at nighttime, because your mind is alive and this Kundalini is, 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 is constantly moving through your body. And you are able to tap in. You know the answers to things because they're self evidence, self revealing, self reflecting. It's not that you've got to go to books or, or university to study any of these things, they are innate. That's the kind of psionic intelligence wisdom that each of us are craving at the soul level, which is why when we hear truth, we resonate to it. It's why we love going into, going into phase coherence with truths that we hear, deep truths. But the point is this, you don't need to follow anyone in order to get those truths or tap into them. You simply need to move into that inner sanctum, truly go into that inner space, breathe deeply and well, three to five minutes a day. You don't need to do more than that, but you really do need to start to attune to breath. Breath is the stuff that connects you into that. Maintain that inner stillness. Go into that phase conjugation or phase coherence with your inner flame. It is waiting to greet you. That is what we mean by becoming crowned on the throne of self. This is not a Luciferian construct. Luciferian construct is what the monotheistic religions have tried to teach us that self-learning is. We've been kept degraded. We've been kept maligned and kept in a, in a constant state of dystopia precisely in order to prevent us from moving into that kind of alignment. Now, that's the individual alignment. Imagine what happens when the collective moves into that same phase coherence or phase conjugation with the imminent divine template. Sweet Jesus, we transmute and transform everything in this world almost instantly. That's the pivot point where we find ourselves as a species. We are absolutely already involved in this upgrade, this, this move into the spiral of Alcyon, which has been, a, which is a departure altogether from time and space as we understand it. Now, this time, 2020, in the Babylonian calendar is desperately important because this is the time when all of that stuff comes into focus and in that clear focus, we are able to see the black and the white, the checkerboard, with absolute clarity. There is no longer any fuzzy logic. None. You see what you see, you know what you know. People wearing masks on the streets in broad daylight are people who are choosing the covenant of unconsciousness, inaction, entropy, and death, ultimately, because that's what it brings about. Death and then space dust. Choose where you want to align your soul's trajectory, your soul's covenant, and your journey. It is our choice, but it really comes down to that, and we'll keep coming down to that.